basic weapons training. It's important to be a well-rounded martial artist. So while we study Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu to be proficient in ground fighting, Muay Thai to be proficient in striking, it's also important to know how to wield a weapon. And today we're going to learn Filipino martial arts, Kali, the single stick. The single stick is a versatile weapon. It can represent pretty much any weapon that you can wield single-handedly. So a sword, a knife, a ruler, an umbrella. Uh, if you know how to sing, swing the single stick, you can pretty much swing anything as a weapon. Um, so for today, we're going to learn how to hold the weapon. We're going to learn how to uh, proper stance. We're going to learn the basic eight angles and give you a couple different drills of attacks that you can use so that you can be proficient with the weapon yourself. How to hold the single stick. So what we'll start to do is we'll grab the stick like we're holding a baseball bat. Right hand over the left hand, okay, if I'm right-handed. Now, what this is going to do is give me an understanding of how much space to leave at the bottom, okay? So I'm going to release my left hand, which will give me about a fist length at the bottom so that I can use this, uh, the weapon, the bottom of the weapon to strike with as I get into close range, but it also allows me some counterbalance to my uh, stick. So when I swing at high speed, I won't lose a stick and it won't come flying out of my hand. So once again, making a baseball bat, okay? Fist length, and that's how you hold the weapon. Proper stance. Let's assume that we're right-handed, which many of us are. Ideally, we're going to be able to learn how to use this weapon in both hands. So when we are get, become proficient, we'll use a double stick. Okay, but right now we have one weapon. So I'm right-handed. I'm going to hold it with my right hand. I'm going to take a step forward with my right leg and make sure that my right leg is in front if my right hand is holding the weapon. Okay. Similarly, if I'm left-handed, I'm going to switch my stance in this way right here. Now, my feet, I want to make sure they're both about 45 degrees and I'm on both balls of my feet. They're almost in line with each other. Okay? This will allow me to make sure that I keep my shoulders and my hips bladed. If I turn my body like this square to you, what's going to happen is I'll expose myself to more attacks. So if you have a uh, tipped uh, bladed weapon, you might be able to stab me. Okay, So I want to protect my organs by turning my body to the side All right, and now taking my left hand and placing it over my heart. And this way it acts as a, a defense in case uh, my opponent's weapon penetrates my defense. I'll have my hand to kind of absorb some of the attack. Right? It's not the best case scenario, but it's better than just getting hit right in your chest. So we keep our hand up. Now our attack hand, okay, we're going to keep up just like this. So we're in the on guard position and we're ready to go. Now from the side, it's going to look like this. Okay? Ready to go. My both balls on my feet. I'm ready to attack. My stick is moving. Now that we understand how to hold a weapon, we understand how to stand. Now we're going to work on the basic attacks. Okay, so we call this the eight basic angles. If we learn how to swing the stick at these eight basic angles, we can start to build off that into more advanced techniques. So let me first demonstrate the eight angles, then I'm going to break it down into two halves. Okay, so if I was facing you, one, two, three, four, five, pull it back, six, seven, eight. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Now I'm going to go from the side. I'm going to move slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now it's time to learn the first four angles, one through four. So let's demonstrate here. I, I grip the weapon properly with a little bit of space at the bottom. I'm in my stance. Okay. One, I strike shoulder to hip. Two, I trace right back up that same path. Three, I go hip to shoulder. And four, I come back down. Okay, so notice what I did, I just made an X. Okay, one, hip to shoulder, sorry, shoulder to hip, hip to shoulder, three, four. When I strike, you also notice my knuckles are always facing the target. I'm assuming that this might be a bladed weapon in the future. So if I had a, a knife or a sword, I want to make sure that blade is striking towards my partner, or in this case, my opponent. Now from the side, you're going to see one, two, three, four. So once you get the strikes, you just want to go in a nice smooth manner through and making X patterns. Okay, if I strike and I use and I strike my target like this, my, my blade is, or my weapon is going to come out of my hand. So I want to make sure that I'm facing my knuckles towards the target so that as you strike, your weapon stays in your hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, the second half of the eight angles, combinations five through eight. 
So I'll quickly demonstrate. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. From the side, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so real slow now. So we're working uh, the first F. Number five, number five is a stab. Okay, stabbing forward. After you stab forward, you're gonna retract your hand across your body like this. So prepare yourself for, for uh, strike number six. Six, we're gonna go across the belly, slice. Seven, we go right back, slice. Eight, we're gonna strike straight down on top of the head. Eight, and put it to the outside of our body so that our stick comes up and is ready to go back to the eight angles once again. Okay, five, we're gonna stab, five, Bringing it across, six across the belly, seven across the belly, eight straight down. From the side, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. So you want to drill that a bunch of times until you get it. Let's put it all together and do all eight angles. So once again, I start from my stance. I'm going to start slow, okay? Nice, slow, fluid movements, making sure that our knuckles are facing uh, the, the target. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, as I go Eight goes to the outside of my leg, where the stick goes back up again so that I can go right back into one. Two, you want to continuously drill eight angles. Now from the side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we want to drill the eight angles as much as we can. Again, it's going to build proficiency in our weapon wielding. Um, as you go slow, you start slow, be nice and fluid with the movement, start building up speed. Once you build up the good speed, then we can start adding different movements, okay? So now, outside of the eight, the, the eight angles teach you how to strike from a, a different, obviously eight different angles. So now we're going to try to put some strikes together in combination. Our first one is a simple one, four. It's going to draw X's, right? One, four, one, Four, one, four. Notice look when I strike, I'm not striking with a stiff hand like this. Imagine it's almost like a whip. Striking using my wrist turning out right at the last moment. One, four. So we'll go slow. One, four, one, four, one, four. From the side. One, four, one, four, one, four. Now we're going to do from a different angle, one, two. Okay, so we're going to go straight down, back up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So we're going to start slow. One, two, one, two, one, two. From the side, one, two, one, two, one, two. Making sure that we're striking with our knuckles facing the target. Last one, we're gonna go down, up. That's four, three, right? Four, three, four, three, four, three. Eventually, what you can do now is start putting them together. Just kind of move around, put those different angles, kind of play with it, mix up the angles, okay? So these are all the different combinations we just worked. And then later on, as you start getting more proficient with the stick, we'll have many more attacks that we can do. Just keep practicing. So as my teacher always say, practice makes habits. Uh, the way you swing the stick and the um, habits that you make is going to determine how well you're going to be able to use this in a time of need. Okay, so with things being as crazy as they are, it's always good to know some different skills. The single stick will serve you well. If you like this video, let, send me some comments, send me some messages. Um, we can always make some more videos. This is just the beginning, okay? So once you get the basic eight angles, learning how to strike and having a couple combinations, you're gonna have to start adding in footwork. We're gonna start talking about ranges and distance to make sure that we keep ourselves out of 
danger, at the same time able to disarm our opponent, and that's going to be our main goal, okay? And that's really why I like the stick too, is that because it's, it's not a, it doesn't, it, while it can be, it's generally not, it doesn't need to be a lethal weapon. You don't need to kill somebody with this, all right? So well, what you can do is you can definitely deter an attack. Um, if you can strike somebody's arm, you can definitely break somebody's arm. Obviously a strike to the head, temple, neck, or something like this, you can render somebody unconscious, all right? And these are, you can carry these pretty um, discreetly. We have batons you can crush down and open up, and they can serve you in a time of need. So um, I hope you like the videos. Make sure you practice as much as you can and get better every day with uh, using the stick, okay?